Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to use the Render Cloud client. And this is the Render Cloud once you log in. And there's just little things that you need to know. Right here is where your balance is and how much you have to spend on renders. And when you run load, this is the icon that you want to click to go to this page, log in, and to recharge your account. Then when your renders are done, if you'd like, you could just remove them out of the out of your render cloud so you have more space and it's more neat. And I'm going to show you how to properly use the render cloud. So I just pulled this out of the SketchUp warehouse. Um, it's just a Mini Cooper. Anything you want to pull out of the SketchUp warehouse, you could just type in V-Ray. So they're a V-Ray ready. Now. What you want to do is you want to go into your options for rendering. I'm not going to touch any of the other settings for now, but um, any of your settings should work. But what you want to do is go into your output and you want to save output and name the file, let's just say mini cooper. And once you do that, you're going to want to go into extensions, render wow render all pages. The model will be reopened after submission. All changes will be lost. Do you want to continue? Now that's very important. You're going to want to save everything that you've done before sending it to RenderWow. Otherwise, it's just going to reopen it from the last save. It doesn't go back to your auto save. It goes back to its last official save. So it's really important that you save your file first before sending it to the render cloud. So again, go to render all pages, OK, and yes. So you always want to save it to your desktop, otherwise it won't work. So let's just say mini Cooper. Now, as you can see in the bottom right, it's going to start exporting the scene. And if it blacks out like this, it's OK. It's normal. So it should just take a few moments for it to come back. And it's going to export each scene individually. So it should only take you a couple minutes. And it does depend on the complication of your model. Like if you have like lighting, um, materials, like a number amount of materials, it does take a while longer, but not that long. And as you can see, it's rendering each individual page. If you just wanted to render just a single scene, instead of clicking rendering, render all pages, just click render and it'll just render that specific scene. Now, as it's exporting all the scenes, you can see that it's already popping into your render cloud. And once it's done and completed, it will download to your desktop, and that's where the download progress is. But when it's in the render cloud, you're actually able to view the process of it and where it's at. So you can view the screenshot. Now this is just a conference room that I had done before, but just for example's sake, I'm just showing you how the how you could view your actual progress of your renders. And as you can see, all of them are rendering really fast and really quick. And you can render multiple scenes at once, and it'll just show up onto your desktop. So if the scene's quite small, viewing the progress of it, it'll be screenshot failed because it's actually finished rendering. As you can see, please try again. So don't be don't worry about your renderings. They're actually just um, they're actually just finished half the time. And then they're just gonna download to your desktop. So once it's done exporting all the scenes, it's gonna this message is going to pop up where you want to reopen it and that's the most important part because if you didn't save before it would just reopen to its original state rather than what you left it at so that's why you always have to save before sending it to the render cloud so once everything is done everything should show up onto your desktop And there you go.
So thank you for watching and stay tuned for our next tutorial.